Hello friends, today we are going to discuss the diagnostic cystoscopy and we will see how to perform. It is performed with the 4 mm 30 degree cystoscope with the cystoscopic sheath. Cystoscopic sheath is not completely circular, it is little more in anteroposterior than the flatness and it is introduced to the urethra, so it is of proper shape of the urethra. Cystoscopy has a lot of indication like gross hematuria with no evidence of glomerular disease microscopic hematuria with no evidence of glomerular disease or infection, but increased risk of the malignancy, recurrent urinary tract infection, obstructive symptom with the suspicious stricture stone, irritative symptoms without urinary infection and abnormal bladder imaging or urinary cytology just to take it. One of the most common indication of cystoscopy is Prophylactically, it is used by gynecologists to prevent ureteric injury in total laparoscopic hysterectomy. In cases of uh, lymphadenectomy also, either for colorectal surgeries or for radical hysterectomy, cystoscopy is very important. And nowadays, we use the infrared ureteric catheter also to get the illuminated ureter and to introduce a uh, ureteric catheter, cystoscopy is very important. So, today we will see how to do that. Patient should be in the lithotomy position and uh, we have to properly clean the vagina and it should be nicely draped. After that, you will introduce the all the system of the 4 mm cystoscope and then you will just uh, try to find out put a speculum and try to find out the urethra. Once urethra is identified then little gylo can you should apply over the external meatus of urethra so that there should not be any burning sensation post cystoscopy to the patient that is a good idea and in the hysteroscopy it is also important that you should use the flow of the fluid and you should irrigate with the 300 cc saline after putting the cystoscope you will introduce it in urethra female urethra is only 4 centimeter so easily it will enter and then you should try out any of the stone or the tumor or the scar and after that you will try out to find the trigone of the bladder this is trigone it is in between the you know the internal orifices at the both the ureteric angle is called trigone and we can see here this is ureteric orifice of the right side and if you will wait for a couple of minutes you can see peristalsis and the urine it comes out this is called ureteric rease this is inter ureteric rease that is the first rease this is inter ureteric rease in between the two ureteric orifice it can be easily find out and here you have the left ureter orifice and peristalsis you can see urine coming out and repeatedly after every one minute you can see the peristalsis coming this is posterior wall of the bladder little corrugation is present normally in deflated and you will turn the light cable down then you can see this is anterior wall of the bladder these are little bubbles and once you put the fluid this bubble will become the smaller and ultimately it will disappear. This is anterior wall of the bladder, here this is posterior wall of the bladder and here we can see this is below, this is a female patient, so below will be the uterus, so that is why the bulge you are seeing it here and the first ridge is the, this is the interuretric ridge and that forms with the trigone there. So, this is a peristalsis you can easily see <coughs> and urine coming out post uh, hysterectomy hysteroscopy is also a good thing to perform routinely to find out any ureteric uh, injury. Now, once you have identified both the ureter then you may need to do the infrared ureteric catheterization or maybe simple ureteric catheter. If you do not have a advanced camera like a striker 1688 or 1788 in those situation you can use the simple ureteric 6 French ureteric catheter and that will eliminate the risk of the ureteric injury during total laparoscopic hysterectomy. So, coming back here we can see the peristalsis is frequently coming and this is the right ureter, this is inter ureteric ridge and this is the left ureter. So, easiest way of performing the ureteric catheterization is this is 6 French ureteric catheter with the simple guide wire, soft end of the guide wire should be 1 centimeter out and you should bring the cystoscope nearer and then push it, otherwise it will bend and every 1 1 centimeter there is a marking on the ureteric catheter, 
after 5 cm thick marking, 10 cm too thick marking and after 15 cm 3 thick marking. So, we can see here these are 3 thick marking that means 15 cm of the catheter is introduced. After that leave the catheter and take the cystoscope out. Then again you will introduce it and this is the left ureteric orifice and again it will be introduced with the 1 cm guide wire out and you should not keep the cystoscope far away at the time of pushing the ureteric catheter otherwise it will bend and you should try carefully counting those markings so it is also this side is also performed. Now let us see how to do infrared ureteric catheter. Infrared ureteric catheter is introduced with the U kit a striker is making by the name of U kit and it is a transparent ureteric catheter with the guide wire. So this is introducing into the you know the right ureteric orifice and after that it also two marking that means 10 centimeter and then you have the three thick marking this is 15 centimeter after that you will take the guide wire out and then you will take the cystoscope out this is infrared transparent ureteric catheter and now you will introduce on the left side <coughs> and this is left side again the guide wire will be introduced first remember always soft end of the guide wire should go otherwise ureter will perforate and again you will keep on counting and every 1 1 centimeter you have a marking and once 15 centimeter of the in the catheter is introduced after that you will take the cystoscope out so how you will note 15 centimeter you will have three thick marking and that you have to visualize so now it is over and now cystoscope is introduced and now we can see entire ureter is illuminating and that way you can almost eliminate the risk of the ureteric injury during the total laparoscopic hysteroscopy. So total laparoscopic hysterectomy. So cystoscopy is very important to learn for the gynecologist. It is a very easy procedure and everyone should be well versed to perform this procedure. So thank you very much for watching.